Hey everyone, it's Brandon from Virtual DJ back with another tip of the day. Now, one of the most challenging aspects of being a DJ is to play the right song at the right time and for the crowd that's in front of you. Even the best DJs get a little stumped from time to time on what to play next. Well, Virtual DJ has a nifty collection of smart lists called My Library to help you. If you're not familiar with smart lists and how they work, well, get ready to experience taking your song selection skills to the next level. The My Library add-on is your personal assistant and puts Virtual DJ's extensive database system to work for you to help you find the perfect next song to play. And best of all, it's free for you to download. To install the My Library add-on, click here to open the settings area, then click on the extensions tab. Click on other, then click on database filters. Find the My Library add-on and click install. Virtual DJ will then download and install the add-on. Once finished, click OK, then exit out of the settings area. In the left-hand folder view, scroll down and click on My Library to expand and see all of the filter folders that are included. Click and expand any of these to reveal further sub-filter folders or the actual smart lists. The sub-filter folders are marked in red while the lists are marked in blue. As you browse around the folders and lists, you can see that there are numerous filter folders that are packaged with the plugin. Everything from artist, title, genre, BPM, and harmonic key is available for you. Additionally, the live lists will suggest songs that are of compatible key and beats per minute. The database folder of lists has included a selection of lists or tools that can show some potential problem songs that might be missing information, such as tags or need to be scanned with the BPM analyzer. You might also want to go a step further by creating or adding some of your own personal smart lists modeled after the ones included. Right-click or control-click on a Mac on any of the lists and select Edit. In this example, we will copy the code from the list that shows songs added in the last 30 days but we'll modify it to show songs added from the last 90 days instead. Now we'll create a new list by clicking on New Filter Folder. Give the filter folder a name and then paste the code that you copied. Now change the 30 to a 90 and voila! You can see the songs added from the last 90 days instead. Don't forget that you can also reorder your list by simply dragging and dropping up and down. As you can see, My Library is an excellent tool to help you quickly and easily pick songs from your library that you otherwise might not have thought of. And with a little copy and paste, you can also customize it to your liking. That'll do it for this tip of the day. We hope you found it helpful. Till the next one, remember, it's normally better to cut the EQ, not boost it.